popping. Oh, I found all about checking in here. And today, we have a lot to discuss. Now, let y'all right into it. First off, salute notification game. Hitting that like button for the video to start. Y'all the real all fans salute. Anyway, up oh, first, we got that boy Slim Duncan squad. And then come to Pedro, Bruh, when it comes to this fake industry, where do I begin, fam? We got rappers claiming they gangster when they really ain't. We got rappers claiming they real when they really not. We got rappers claiming they trapping and moving at work. When the only thing they sold was a PS2 back to GameStop, fam. The rap game is full of fakes. In an industry full of fakes, real is rap, bro. So I think we got to start celebrating the real, fam. Let's face it. These the individuals that often overlook, fam. And it's rare these individuals are recognized, bro. And today, we got to start the celebration of the real with that boy Dunk Squad. Now, when it comes to rap beat today, usually only two things happen, fam. Either somebody threaten to shoot or nothing goes on, period, bro. It stays on social media, fam. Everybody got Twitter fingers. But don't handle things the old-fashioned way, bro. He went threatening to shoot you all this and that if he ran into you at Linux downtown. He was an on-site type of guy, bro. Whatever he bumped into you at, he was going to give you that fade, fam. He was pulling up. He was so official for pulling up that even his enemies respected him, bro. Oh, bro, you a real nigga. I fuck with you, nigga. You came by yourself, nigga. By yourself, nigga. You a real nigga. Street Zone DVD, that was some real street shit, Slim. I... Now, some would say the street shit is what made Slim Ducky real, bro. Fuck that shit. Real nigga shit, huh? I know what he did, bro. Tell him I said it, nigga. Fuck that nigga. It's our club, nigga. So let's, nigga. So I saw my fat five on that. Now, like I said, some would say the street shit is what made him real, bro. I don't condone it in the violence, but I don't have a problem with him giving people that fade, bro. That's why he was real respected. But what I think made him real was Slim Duncan, the person, bro. Whatever that boy Slim Duncan had to show it, the real niggas, the regular civilians, the women, they all embraced him, bro. He was well respected. I don't care how much money you got, whatever you do, you can't buy respect, bro. He also was extremely loyal to fam. He made sure his day ones was taken care of, bro. If he ate, they ate, fam. And most importantly, with the industry being so selfish, nobody want to see the next person win. Everybody jealous of each other. He was the most unselfish person, bro. He legit wanted to see his friends win, bro. Anybody in his circle, he was trying to make sure they got that shine, dog. While he was coming up and making a name for himself, he was also putting his partners in position to get that bag as well, bro. With all that being said, fam, I think the game missed out on one of the realest, bro. It's sad he died right before he was about to hit that next level, fam. So much potential snatched away, fam. That's why I did this video so people that knew him can enjoy it, and the people that didn't, I can't inform them about him, bro. I need y'all to comment down below. What do you remember about Slim Duncan? Also comment down below, where would he be right now, fam? Also comment down below, who should I do a video on next? Anyway, I'm about to be out of here. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Press that sub button. Also press that bell beside it so you get notification anytime I drop a video. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. Follow me on IG at Relatable Salute to y'all, man. We on that one. 100K. Grind. Up, ball. Gone.